we're still on adjustments and this is the last page in the adjustments section of the Affinity Photo Workbook. Um, but of course, as you now know, it's the, in this case, it's on the iPad. I'm using the iPad to work through the exercises. Now, we're on making an image black and white. Simple, you might say. So we'll open the image we're using, kindly provided by Affinity. I'll just make that a little bit smaller so it fits in the boundaries. I can go outside, of course. You put that up there and you can move it with that thing on the top. I have no idea what that little option's called. Let's see if it's got a name. Oh, hide UI. Hide the user <laughs> interface button. Okay. Now, from the, it says in the book, from the layer menu, choose a new adjustment layer and go to black and white adjustment. Well, we don't have that on the iPad. You simply have... Right here, you can see it just there, the square box with the three dots in it, that's our adjustment layer. You can see at the top there it says adjustments, and we want black and white. So it's simply touch the black and white, and your image is now black and white. However, just like oils just ain't oils, black and white is not just black and white. As with the colour intensities we used before, we can change this slightly. Now in the book I'll use the examples they've got there. They've set the red to 90%. Okay, you can see it's already changed the colouring of the black and white a little bit. The yellow is 50%. Its default is 100, but let's make it 50 it's darkened the trees a bit. The green is 120. There's green. Let's make that 1, 2, 0. Lightened it up just slightly. The cyan or cayenne, C-Y-A-N, is set to 140. 1, 4, 0. And you'll see the image change. Just slightly darkens it a little bit. Blue is 90. Okay. And magenta is 100%. Well, it is that already. Now, you can merge all that because what we've got there is a an adjustment layer. On, off on and so on so we don't want to mess with that anymore and that's all there is to it like all other adjustments a black and white adjustment layer is created in the layer panel now that's very simply turning a color image to a black and white image you could play with those tones and you could end up with the old sepia colored image if you know how to move those colours around, that's exactly what you'll get. And that's it for this little exercise. Too easy.